What's the scoop, my J Rock stars? J Rock is back in the building. You already know. Today we're bringing back Yu Gi Oh! Okay, so sorry, I had to go back because I actually forgot the name of this game Yu Gi Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Alright, we're gonna jump right into the Shadow Duel. Uh, the Shadow Duelist. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot the name of the game for a minute. I, I knew it was the GX series, I just forgot the name of the total game. Alright, so Jaden and his friend Cyrus and Chumley were wandering the school grounds when they came across the old abandoned dorm that was supposedly haunted. To their surprise, Alexis was also there. Alexis, what are you doing here? That's funny, I was going to ask you guys the same thing. We were about, we heard about the dorm and wanted to check it out. Well, that's not very intelligent. <laughs> don't, don't you know that kids have have a way wait what don't you know that kids have a way of disappearing around here yeah that's the <sighs> Jaden's face look at Cyrus's face and then compare to Chumley's face I just I just I can't get oh damn I push it I just can't get over it no it's not believe me I know why else would the Academy make this place completely forbidden if they catch you here you'll be expelled Jaden so why are you here one of the kids who disappeared here was my brother if Alexa's brother really disappeared, then the rumors aren't just rumors. I say we go back, Jaden. Yeah, I say we go in. What? Oh, wait up. I hope Jaden knows what he's doing. And who are you? When Jaden and his friends entered the dorm to investigate, Alexis was captured by Titan. Is that his name? Titan? I guess that is his name. Um, a notorious hitman hired by Dr. Crawler to kick Jaden out of the academy. Titan trapped Alexis in a coffin using using her a bit to God to God. Huh. To God Jaden into a duel. I didn't know that was a word. Hand Alexis over right now, or you'll be sorry. The only way I'll free her is if you beat me in a shadow game. I'm not afraid of dueling you, but shadow games don't exist. The other didn't believe the shadow games either. Didn't believe in the shadow games either. But they were soon convinced. For you see, when you lose the shadow game, you don't just pay with your life points. You pay with your soul. So you're the one behind all the disappearances. Well, you're not getting us, especially Alexis. Unless you win, she's mine forever. As you will be. Alright, get your game on. We're going to use the story deck. I was thinking about using mine just because I haven't used mine in forever and I forgot what cards are in it. But no, screw that noise. We're going to use Story Day. Alright. This is what we're going to do for the rest of the series. Until it fails us, we're going to use scissors for the whole entire... Oh, no! Going back to rock! Not doing it! Should have never stopped! Nope. We're always picking rock now. Always pick rock. That's always been my motto. And I thought I'd try something new. Never again. Never again. Alright, let's get this thing going. Um... I forgot that you don't draw if you go first anymore. That is so stupid. All right, I'm gonna put, put Avion face down. I'm gonna set Mirror Force. I'm gonna end the turn. So actually, because of, uh, uh, I was just going through my games and I saw that I still had, oh, I have to read that. I don't really remember everything that that does. Um, I was just reading through my games that I have on my console and stuff like that. And I um, saw this there. And decided that I should just play it. All fiend monsters gain 500 attack. You can target one arch fiend monster you control. Banish one other fiend monster you control. And if you do, special summon from your hand, deck, or graveyard one arch fiend monster with the same level as the targeted monster. You can only use this effect of arch fiend. Yeah, once per turn. All right. And then the controller of this card pays 500 life points during each of. His, her, standby phase. This is not optional. When this card is targeted by an effect of a of a card controlled by your opponent, when the resolve when resolving the effect, roll a six-sided die. If the result is three, negate the effect and destroy the opponent's card. When Terror King Archfiend is on your side of the field, on your side of the on your side of the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard to Special Summon Terror, Terror King Archfiend. Huh. Okay, that's a lot of reading. Um, 
All right, so I wasn't really thinking about activating Mirror Force this early, but I kind of do. I'm going to try and take advantage and be on top of the duel. Normally, I, what I like to do sometimes is all oh, those face down cards, really? I like to try and wait it out and see like what happens, um, but I don't believe I'm going to do that. What am I six fusing? Is it gi a Thunder Giant and Flame Wing Man? That's what I figured. Um, all right, so let's bring out Spark Man. Let's flip over Avion. I really probably should have left him face down, actually. Let's just jump on the attack. Sparkman is going to attack first. Uh, pay 500 life points to target one Archfiend that you're... I couldn't read that in time. It looks like you just brought an Archfiend from the graveyard, though, pretty much. Is that what I'm getting at? One Archfiend that's in your graveyard. Special summon that. It cannot be tributed during the end phase. Destroy it during the end phase of this turn. Okay. Yep, in the turn. Nothing else I can do. Alright. Yeah, man, but I just started watching the Yu-Gi-Oh! The, the GX series. i just been watching it. Uh, Pandemonium. He's not gonna bring it out? I wonder why. I wonder why he's holding off. Reborn the monster? Oh, I don't remember Jaden having this card in his deck. <laughs> I don't remember having this card in his deck. What is this card? I don't know what this card is yet. That's right. <laughs> What's this card face down? I don't know. Maybe that's why it's face down. But yeah, I just been um, I just been watching it, man. I've just been getting back into the series. Of course, of course, of course. I'm not even gonna read you. I'm not gonna read you. Um, yeah, I just been getting back into the series, man. I don't know what made me watch it. I've seen all the way up to. I'm right up to when um, Chad joins the society of light i hope that i didn't just spoil a whole bunch of stuff for people just now by saying that but that is where i'm at right where chad joins the society of light or white no it's society of light society of light yeah aka the uvo kkk no i'm just kidding uh <laughs> um yeah that's right where i stopped so you know hustleberry is there and uh Dang, what's that kid's name? I think his name is Astro Phoenix. I believe that's his name. Astro or Aster Phoenix. It's one of the two. Hero signal! Bubble Man is in my deck? Now, let me read this for a second. If, if this card... Oh, crap. What did I just do? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? If this card is the only card in your hand, you can special summon it from your hand when this card is summoned when this card is summoned you can draw two cards you must control you must control no other cards and have no cards in your hand to activate and resolve this so it needs to be the only card that's left the reason why I'm reading that all like crazy like that is because oh damn it that's not what I wanted to do <laughs> I pushed A on. Oh, are you serious? I can't go back. No, it won't let me go back. All right, I'll suck it up. Let's put him in defense mode. I really didn't want to do that, actually. Um, But in the series, right? In the GX series, they kill me. He kills me with Bubble Man. What? What just happened? You just gained attack. What just happened? The controller of this card plays 500 door and each of his or her standby phase I know that it's not optional when this card is targeted by the effect of a card what when this card is targeted by the effect by the effect of a card controlled by your opponent when resolving the effect roll a six-sided die if the result is two or five negate negate it and right all right as long as this card remains on the field during each standby phase increase the attack of one Archfiend monster by 1,000 until the end phase. Oh my god. Okay. The only thing that is going to really save me right now is Skyscraper. Or, unless I could... Unless I had a polymerization in my hand, which I don't. So that doesn't help me at all, actually. Um... I could. I mean, there's, there's kind of no point in me doing this. Um, you know what? Let me put another Spark Man in my hand. Because I, I see that Spark Man being destroyed soon. So, 
Put another Spark Man in my hand. I'm gonna try and summon the Thunder Giant and use his effect. Select one Archfiend on your side of the field. Your opponent also pays the same life points as your- Whoa, 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 whoa. Just use the same card twice? I'm like a champion confused or whatever the fuck is going on. Okay, he sacrificed that so he can bring Terra, Terra King Archfiend to the field. I see and understand that. Control of this pays 800 life points during the standby phase is not optional. When this card is targeted by an effect, roll a die. If it's two or five, negate and destroy that card. The effect of an effect monster that this card destroys as a result of battle is negated. Okay. I'm still in a tight spot because there's there's damn near nothing that I can do. I'm gonna put this Avion in defense mood. And I'm gonna put Sparkman back in my hand. Mm. Oh, he banished that card. That's what happened. Ugh! This is literally all that I can do. I can just, I just have to wait it out. Darn it, if I didn't pick Bubble Man at that one point, why is my phone ringing? If I didn't pick Bubble Man at that one point, I would have been good. But what I'm saying though right now is that next turn he's gonna be. What? Skull Archfiend of Lightning. Pretty much summon Skull. Yeah. Um, during each standby phase, you must pay 500 lives, not optional. Or if this card is destroyed before resolving. That roll of dies if it's one, three, or six. What? Roll six out of die. Negate the effect of. Negate the effect if you roll one, three, or six. And if you do, destroy that card. Okay. Right, but this is saying by effect, not by battle. Alright. So we're gonna do this. I'll bust out the skyscraper. And I'm going to take out the Terra King Archfiend. Next standby phase, you have to pay 1,000 life points. I mean, 500. So I just won. I missed the music. Oh, sorry. No! Jada was able to defeat Titan and release Alexis from her coffin. Good morning, sleepyhead. Where am I? What are you doing here? Hold on. What kind of thank you is that? We're here because we... Oh, they actually spelled cuz like... Cuz. Ha! <laughs> We're here because we... Had to find... Had to find a bad guy, win the duel, and rescue the damsel in distress. Oh yeah, that strange man snatched me. That's right. We found your card. It's a picture of my brother. This is the first trace of him I've seen in a long time. I brought it to let you know that to let you know that we're that we want to help. After all, we can't let you get in locked up any more tombs searching for him all by yourself. You really you really were worried about me, weren't you? Oh man, blushing. Oh, oh Alexis. Oh, 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 oh Alexa. Oh, let me stop playing. All right, cool. Next one. For the sake of Cyrus. Okay, I remember this. I remember this. Cyrus thought that he was not going to be strong enough to duel. He left a note for Jaden telling him that he was going to leave the academy. After finding the note, Jaden and Chumley frantically searched for Cyrus and his brother Zane. Zane was not surprised that Cyrus was giving up. So that's Zane, the school's top duelist. You're dropping out? Yeah. Or, well, yeah, kinda. It's about time. You're his big brother? How can you say that? Because I know him. I bet you think you do. But guess what? You don't. And I'm gonna prove it to you right now. Let's duel. Duel a slifer? Sure. Why not? After all, it's been a while since I... Since I went slumming. Then get your game on. Now technically... 
technically, technically, whoa, Lady Ninja, yee, whoa, girl, what you gonna do, twerk? Um, mm, now Rock wants to fail me? That's some BS. All right, normally what would happen, I just realized something, never mind. Normally what happens here is that Jaden loses the duel. Well, I'm playing as Zane, so Jaden is definitely going to lose the duel. Do I really have the same cards that he had when he started? No, I'm, I'm a little bit different. I'm a little bit different. Not that much different, though. Cyber Chrome? Cyber Dragon Chrome. When this card is normal summon, add one Cyber Spell Trap from your deck to your hand. If this, if your opponent controls a monster and you control no monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard or special summon one Cyber Dragon monster from your deck. You can only use one Cyber Dragon Chrome effect per turn and only once that turn oh, okay this card's name cyber this card's name becomes cyber dragon while it's on the field or in the graveyard so this card can be normal when this card is normal summon so i can normal summon this card and oh if he controls a monster and i control no monsters i can banish this card i can banish this card from my graveyard okay i understand now i'm with it I understand. All right, so I'm gonna use different dimension capsule, and hopefully in this deck there's a power bond. If Cyber Dragon is is in your graveyard, you can activate you can activate only one of these. If you have three or more Cyber Dragons in your graveyard to activate, you can activate both effect and resolve in sequence. You can only activate one Cyber Repair Plant per turn. Add one Light Machine Monster from your deck to your hand. Target one Light machine monster in your graveyard shuffle in your graveyard shuffle that target in your deck oh that's kind of cool it's kind of bad again. i still don't know what this card does if this card attacks and if this card attacks an opponent's monster it gains 300 during the battle phase only battle step only sorry once per turn you can reveal a spell card in your hand this card's name becomes cyber dragon until the end until the end phase this card name becomes cyber dragon wild is in the graveyard got it cyber larva oh my god this <laughs> if this card if this face up card is targeted for an attack you take no battle damage for the rest of the turn when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard you can special summon one cyber larva from your deck and that's what this is okay got it got it there's the power bond but i mean since i'm here i might as well look through the rest of the deck each player draws one card and either player and neither player takes battle damage for this turn okay all right nothing that i don't know nothing that i don't know cyber dragon dre what when this card is normal summon, i gotta hurry up this episode's getting long when this card is normal summon you can make all cyber dragons you control what you can make all cyber dragons you currently control become level five you cannot special summon any monsters during the turn that during the turn you activate this effect except machine type monsters if this card is banished you can target one cyber dragon you control it cannot be destroyed by battle or by car effect this turn this card's name is cyber dragon while it is on the field or in your graveyard oh wait no no i already read that one i was gonna say oh my god okay i think i know about everything that's in his deck now all right cool so what i was gonna do is put the power bond there um i could summon this and then get some type of trap or something like that but with this when this card is when this card is a in attack position, negate any spell trap effect that targets exactly one machine monster you control. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, draw one card. That's what I thought. That's all I think I wanted. Sorry. I know it took me forever just to make one move. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Of course you have that. Of course! You didn't have that when I was using you. God. Now you want to bring the skyscraper to the field. You little bitch. You little bitch. You little bitch. That's right, I'm bitter. <laughs> Alright, let's get it. Draw another Cyber Dragon Core. Let's bring this to the field. Hmm. Flip. Yep. Let's go. I'm hoping that this is not Clayman. I'm hoping that this is not Clayman. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> and it winds up being freaking clay man. It's alright, it's okay, it's okay. Huh? Oh fuck it's skyscraper. Uh yes. Which allows me to draw a card, right? Cool. One more card in my hand. I like it. Cool power bond is in my hand. Can I activate it? No, we don't have Chimera Tech. That's right. Just Cyber N and Cyber Twin. Jesus Christ. Oh, I was hoping that we had Chimera Tech Ultra Dragon. Chimera Tech Ultra Dragon. I don't know why I couldn't say it. Wait, what am I activating? Turn if you reveal. Oh no, I'm not doing that. Freak that noise. So my attack should go up. His doesn't go up. That's only when they're attacking. Oh, I just learned something new today. All right. You can make all cyber dragons you control level five. You cannot switch. See, it's not that I don't. It's not that I don't like that card, it's just for the fact that I don't all the way see a purpose. I'm just asking to be attacked right now. Um, let me get that. All in all, it doesn't help me the entire way of the Cyber Dragons. Okay. Let's go! End in the turn! Let's go, Jaden. Got another Clay Man? I'm <laughs> so pissed. Jesus Christ. Alright, my hand's getting kind of fat right now. Ah, I made a mistake. Hold on. Pop a Karibo. So no battle damage this turn, right? Alright, so, right, so cool. I can correct my mistake. Put this in defense mode. That's, not, that's it. That's the only thing I wanted to do. Get that card in defense mode. Do, 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 do. Uh. Another dimension type. All right, let's go. With that, I'm gonna go for a cyber dragon this time. Actually, I don't really need to, but I'm going to. <laughs> and with that, I'll end the turn. I'm on, Jaden. I'm looking for that one opening. Bubble Man. I was getting ready to say, if you wind up drawing two cards, the game is broke. The game would be broke. Alright, so I got one more turn. Uh, this card is facing This card is destroyed. If this card is face up, this face up card is targeted by right. It has to be face up though. What? Power bond for what? Oh, for this and this. Yeah, not doing that. You know what? Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe I should. Let's go. Bring Proto Cyber Dragon to the field. Goodness, I could power bond right now with no regrets. Actually, I can't say with no regrets because I don't know what that card is. Um, right, it gets piercing damage, but this card can make a second attack. So, which which is more beneficial, Cyber End or Cyber Twin? I mean, I think, hold on, wait, wait. I think no matter how I look at it, I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna win. But for the sake of keeping some defenses on my field, just in case something stupid happens, I'm only gonna do Cyber Twin Dragon. But if I'm thinking right, hey, my cousin's online. But if I'm thinking right, I can still attack twice, and my attack is now double. So it should be 56. Yeah, so I'm more than positive I just won the duel. Doesn't have any face down cards that seem to be activating. Sing the song for me. Boom, da -da 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 -da. Oh, but da -da 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 -da. okay, I remember that. Thanks for a great duel, Zane. So, Zane, what do you think? I think Cyrus choose chose good friends, Alexis. Your brother's got mad skills. Well, at least I got the looks. Shut up, Cyrus. You ain't getting no looks, man. You ain't getting no girls, Cyrus. You know what you're getting? Depression. Oh, we got Bubble Man. We got Mudball Man. We got some Skyscraper up in here. All right, guys. That's where we're going to stop. We're going to start the next episode, Formula for Success. I think that's when Chad was supposed to duel um, Bastion. I don't remember why. I don't remember what Chad got if he won the duel. I know if he lost, he was going to be demoted. Yeah, when he lost, he was supposed to be demoted from blue. But I don't remember what he was supposed to get if he won. Um, but that, that's what we're going to pick up in the next episode. Make sure you guys like the video, share it up. Thank goodness Yu-Gi-Oh! is back. Um, we'll, we'll probably do this like every Friday, I guess. Every Friday, maybe every other Friday. I don't know. Well, well yeah, 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 yeah. Make sure. <laughs> All right, guys. Subscribe for some more. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Be safe. Peace.